Hello and welcome to episode 39 of series 2 of Become a Legend Story Mode. So I have just returned from my week away, my winter break, someone mentioned in the comments. Uh, and it was great, except for, uh, well, something to do with that man who we're looking at now uh, playing for that team. Yeah, I went to uh, the League Cup final at the start of my holiday. As those of you who will know, that didn't go too well for Arsenal anyway. It went very well for Manchester City, uh, but I had a great day. And I had a lovely holiday, and now I'm back. Hope you didn't miss me too much. I missed you all. Very sorry not to have been able to reply to any of your comments uh, since I've been gone. But I'm back now, and uh, very excited to get back in the groove with Gabby. Last episode, obviously, we uh, did pretty well in the Manchester derby, uh, seeing us through to the final of the FA Cup. Now, we have two more games against Everton. We had one in the last episode, which was very poor. One of our worst performances of the season. Absolutely nothing for Gabby in that one. How can we do in the league? Actually, before we get any further, I think we should have a look and see how we are doing. Just a reminder, because it has been a while, of how things are looking in the Premier League. Yep, we are a point behind Manchester United. Um, hopefully when we come up against them in the league again, we can beat them again as we did in the FA Cup, because we're going to need to by the looks of it. And Chelsea have a six goal, goal difference lead over us, and that's uh, very important for us to claw back, because I've said before, you know, that goal difference league is basically a point at the end of the season. And as things are as Nat's hair tight as they are, that could uh, that could be the point that, that seals it. And we uh, we definitely want to win the league. Absolutely need to win the league. We've got a lot of other cups to play as well. We're still in the Europa League, still in the FA Cup. But today it is back into the league. So let's take a look at the sides. So it's Gabby squared up front. The two Brazilians playing together. Gabby's looking a little tired. We've got Mane on the wing on our side and Sterling on the left. Torre, Delph and Fernandinho. We're missing any of the sort of the creativity. David Silva or Bernardo Silva add to that position. And obviously Aguero on the bench. Gabby Aguero split up. Gondowan doesn't even make the bench, which is a shame. He's been one of the probably the best players this season in terms of players to play with. And Everton, well, it's a side we know well. Uh, they've gone for class in the middle. Rooney up top. Uh, speaking of Rooney up top. That, that hair looks even less convincing in that picture than it does in real life. That's, that's unfortunate. And seeing as we are exactly the same age in real life, uh, I'm pretty proud to have a lovely full head of hair. Although I guess I'm not quite as good at football as Wayne, so he probably wins in the long run. Anyway, let's forget about that. Aaron Lennon, Palassi in there. We're up against Jagielka. And they've got Robles in goal today, not Pickford. Maybe that's slightly more chance of a goal. But at home, we need to be scoring. We need to be free scoring again. Come on. So if I had a pound for the amount of times that I've said nothing less than a win will do on this channel since uh, since the birth of the channel, then I would probably be a, a moderately rich man. But anyway, I'm really happy to be back and playing some uh, playing some Pez. So uh, let's get into this and hopefully uh, I'm not rusty at all. Hopefully I'm not my fingers aren't too cold from all the snow outside and I can uh, find the net. Rooney, great hold up play there, and then he finds Morgan Schneider and the ball is available to Aaron Lennon. He'll come up against Otamendi here. What can he do? He takes it into the corner. Little turn away. Puts a great ball in. Rooney's there with a the header. And Ederson forced into the first save of the game. And it is that man with the beautiful hairdo. who got that uh, beautiful hairline to it. Aaron Lennon did well. Otamendi had to come out of position to find him because our wingbacks never do anything. And that could have easily been 1-0 there. Very long throw there. Looking for Gabby. He'll get up ahead of Leighton Baines and find the ball into Sadio Mane. Good hold-up play there. Gabby wants it down the line. That's a good ball into him. Oh, Michael Keane, just as we were looking around, trying to find the pass to Jesus. Keane gets in with a good challenge. That's our best break so far. And we blew it there. 30 minutes in and we're really struggling again. Everton seemed to be a bogey side for us. <sighs> Company comes across, makes a meal of that. And now Balassi will make his way into the box. But it's a good ball in with a left foot looking for Wayne Rooney. It's dealt with in the end. This has been a poor game. What is the long ball about? Ball into Gabby here. Just to turn away. Onto his right foot. Hits it wide. Well, not a bad opportunity, but they have been few and far between in this half so far. Gabby turning away. No real, real options for the pass. Had to take the shot. Robles not troubled by that one. It's been pretty desperate here. We're nearly at half time. Created very, very little. Good turn by Gabby. Oh, and then Balassi wins it back. Oh, that's poor. Now Gabby. Away from Keane. Steps back inside. Looks to find Delph. Gets it wide. Oh, and it's headed in to the gloves of Joel Robles. And, uh, yeah, not quite clicking yet. 
Klassen into Rooney. Bit of space here for the veteran looking for Balassi. It's well cut out. Once again, we go long, though. I don't understand why we're doing that, but Gabby does well there. Finds Jesus. Jesus looks to take it down the line. We're going to make our way into the box. The ball is available there, but we didn't go... Oh, Jesus. Jesus creased. And there it is, half-time here at the Etihad. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, yep, Everton have had more possession. We've had two shots, both coming from Gabby. Neither of them particularly good chances. It's a lot for us to do in this second half. I predict that uh, Jesus will be off at half-time. Hopefully with Gabby Guerra reunited, we can do something. Excellent hold-up from Wayne Rooney there. And Everton again, looking so confident in possession. Oh, but that's poor from Schneidlin. Now we have a chance as Gabby battles with Schneidlin. Looking for the right run here. No, oh, Jesus puts the shot in. It's just over the bar. We couldn't quite find the right lane to run in there. As Everton gave the ball away cheaply. Jesus was taking his time. Good dribbling away there from Schneidlin. I don't think we're ever in a position to receive the ball. His shot just wide. Oh, Robles with the mistake. Gabby now surely. Oh, I almost didn't believe that we had the ball there and I could have reacted a lot quicker. I was just in disbelief. It was really poor play by Robles. Now Everton will bring it down the other end. Oh, that should have been 1-0. Should have been 1-0. It all opened up. Balassi now. Can he put a ball into the box? Omar Nias. Second half substitute. Back to Schneidlin. Baines overlapping again. It's a great ball in. Klassen's there. Good punch away. And now Gabby. Can he make the right run here? Twisting, turning. Wants it through the middle. Does well to bring it away. The ball into Aguero is on. Oh, really well read there by Michael Keane. Thought we'd found the pass to unlock this defence. Couldn't quite make it work. We'll come forward again here. That's a great ball into Gabby. His first touch lets him down, but he's got away from Keane. And then Keane wins it back. Oh, oh dear. It's, it's not happening. It's just not happening. This game could go either way. Aguero into Gabby. Oh, and the pass is missed again. It's just not working. Maybe I am a little rusty. Nias now has made a dangerous run. Stones can't get to it. Lennon looking for class and company does well. And then we'll move it on here. Gabby away from Jagielka this time. He's going to make a run around Sergio Aguero. Wants it from him there. Now he can slip it into the box to the Argentine. Good footwork. Back out to Sterling. Gabby's made the run. Oh, he took a touch. He took a touch when we wanted the pass. And that'll be all for Gabby today. He had his chances. There's no doubt about that. No doubt at all. We didn't take him. And now with 15 minutes left. I mean, we had run ourselves into the ground. But it's not often we get substituted that early. Two games with no goals as well. is slightly worrying for his form. With so many good players. Sniffing at the back door of this side. Sniffing at the... Anyway, anyway, let's see how we get on. <sighs> oh, Edison's forced into a save. 45% possession in the game today. At home, at the Etihad for Manchester City is just unimaginably bad. Hopefully we can find something right at the end to grab the three points that we so desperately need. Oh, we're putting the pressure on here. Oh, we won't win it back. Ten minutes left. We'll join the action if anything happens. Oh, and Glasson could have made it 1-0 to Everton right at the end there. But it will be only one single solitary point here for Manchester City. And that is really disappointing. The curse of Everton continues. Gabby just unable to perform against his old club. He definitely had the chances. The mistake from Robles should have led to the goal that could have won this game. But it wasn't to be. Gabby goes two games without scoring for the first time this season. Still gets man of the match. He, you know, surely... For that many chances missed, that should not be able to happen. But it did. Mm. Deary me. Well, well, will Manchester United or Chelsea have taken advantage of this? I expect probably yes. Well, Chelsea, 4-0 at Wolves. That puts our uh, theory of relying on goal difference against them to bed. And uh, now, well, it's a three-point lead for Manchester United over us. <sighs> Deary me. Well, at least we're up to 85% manager trust level, so I don't expect we'll be dropped. We still have managed to score 22 goals in 19 appearances, but it seems to be that when it counts, the end of the season, as it all boils to a head, this is when we need to be netting the goals, not in the 4 or 5 nil wins that we've been having. Well, Europa League, second leg. 
have to score today. And with a 0-0 in the first leg, Everton will have the chance to put this to bed with a well-taken goal away from home. Obviously, that could, uh, that could kill this game off. An early goal, two early goals even, could make this very, very difficult. And we will start with Lacazette today and Theo Walcott, two Arsenal old boys. Uh, Sané's back in, Gundogan's back in, that's good to see. Still no David Silva, which is a shame. He's on a downward form arrow. We're on a green today, though. So uh, let's do it. Let's break the curse. So it would be excellent to win a European trophy this season. Obviously, the Champions League was the original goal. But now, I mean, Everton find themselves in an excellent position. And if they go through, seeing as one of the reasons we left was for, you know, for to be challenging in Europe, that would be doubly gutting for Gabby. He needs to uh, break the curse, break the hoodoo today. Finish against his old side. And, uh, yeah, put this one to bed because he can't take any risks. The second leg, obviously, at the this isn't at the Etihad. Where's the where the hell is this? Anyway, we're... we're we're at home, aren't we? We're the home side. So obviously I've misread something somewhere. We are the away side. So actually, we're the ones who need the away goal. So forget everything I said in the build-up. We just need to get one and then hold on to it. And we should be okay. One ball looking for Gabby. Backing into ex-teammate Leighton Baines. Leighton Baines? I think he's Coronesh. But anyway, we'll keep this moving. It's gone Doan. Spreads the ball wide. Looking for Theo Walcott. Gabby's made a good run. But he's going far post. Looking for Lacazette. Misses everyone. The two ex-Arsenal players unable to link up as they were when they played together. Morales will find Seamus Coleman once again. Everton getting a lot of joy. John Stones does well. Good battling from him. And he'll find a ball down to Lacazette. Gabby makes the run down the line. That's a nice ball. We'll get there ahead of Funes Mori. Turn back inside. And away from Fonis Mori again. Can he get the cross in? Looking for Lacazette. Keane's there. Good header away. Will fall to Leroy Sané. Puts it in looking for Gabby. That was always going to be a difficult opportunity. Good work from Gabby down the line. 33 minutes gone though and still we are not showing anywhere near the dominance that we should be against Everton again. Gabby, good first touch to take him away from Ross Barkley. And then Lacazette loses. Oh, somehow comes away with it. Gabby's breaking his neck to get into the box now. And then Lacazette definitely does lose it. Lovely ball in, looking for Fernandinho, yes, and the first goal is there. And it's a crucial one for Manchester City. The away side grabbing what is always an important goal in a two-legged affair. Away from home, oh yes, and it's probably not from the man you expected it to come from. It is a Brazilian, unfortunately, not Gabby goal. Let's take another look at this. I mean, they've just got so many men defending, it was maybe always going to take a player making a run from deep to uh, break the lines, and he did, and finish well. Nice ball over the top from Sané. Right, let's hold on to this. Calling out to Everton. Sigurdsson to whip in. The in-swinger. It's well headed away, but Baines will put it back into the danger area. Sandro Ramirez will turn, and his shot is wide. We know he's hardly got a killer instinct in front of goal. Oh, it's, it's our favourite girder again. Absolutely beautiful. Three by four. Rolled steel. Absolutely classic example of the breed. Anyway... That's a good ball in for Gabby. Finnes Mori does well, though, just to get in. An important challenge, but that's no good. Gabby turns, hits it with the left. Pickford, great save. That clearance was awful. We're able to put a ball back inside. Let's take a look here. Leighton Baines, what are you doing there? Ball into Gabby, good turn. That's a good save in the end from Pickford. Corner here. We haven't had a corner in a long time. Can Gabby break his scoring drought? It's not the best run ever, but he will get to it. No, he won't. Good header away. And it's half-time here at Goodison, and thank God we got that first goal, the one we needed. Despite the fact that I said throughout the build-up we were the home side, turns out we're not, and we're doing okay. Better than we did in the last game, at least. Fernandinho with the goal. Gabby still really needs to get a goal, though. He needs to get back on the score sheet, coming into this absolutely vital end of the season. We need to keep the run of goals going. We can't dry up now. Please. Gabby, good first touch away from Ross Barkley. He's going to look to chip a ball in for Lacazette. It's a beautiful ball and it's a good finish from the Frenchman. What craft from that pass there. As Gabby Goal spotted the run of his strike partner and put it right into his path. It was a good first touch from Gabby as well. Away from Barkley. Then he just held off, saw the run, put it into the danger area. I mean, sometimes they do say that strikers... Especially when it comes to crossing. Maybe not so much with a uh, beautifully chipped ball like this. But strikers will often know where to put the ball. Where they would want it. 
And Gabby put it right down the center into the danger area. Lacazette made a beautiful run. And we've got that important second goal. And this should be, uh, we should be done here. Oh, nice work from Everton here as they're looking to get back into it. So Gerdson, lovely hold up, looking for Klassen. <sighs> oh, that's actually a great save in the end. On ball, looking for Gabby. Battle with Leighton Baines. Baines gets to the right side of him. Oh, poor there. And now Gabby will make his way into the box. It's there ahead of Barkley. Can he get the finish in? He pokes it with the left foot. And he gets the goal against his old club. Will he celebrate? Will he celebrate? Yes, he will. Yes, he definitely will. No problems there. The home fans, unsurprisingly, booing widely. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, he wasn't at Everton for that long. It's hardly like he grew up playing there. And he celebrates. Uh, that's a full celebration, I would say. No real respect, maybe, for the Everton fans. But, uh, hey, he's been struggling against Everton in the last few games. So, unsurprisingly, he wanted to score. He did make a beeline for the, uh, the real true Everton support. But that was awful play. Really awful play. I mean, the Man City fans were right down the other end of the pitch. So, it would have been a long way to go. But through on goal, even with Barkley pressuring him. He nets for the first time in a long time. And, uh, yeah, as we said, not shy of a celebration. A lot of coins being thrown then, I imagine. Oh, once again, Keane makes the mistake. And now Gabby. Through on goal again. Keane's come across. Gabby steps inside. Surely it's going to be two here. Pickford with a great save. It was a little bit telegraphed where he was going to go. But once again, he pounces on the mistake from the Everton defender. And then uh, inside, the captain, Michael Keane, turned in. Opened up his body. Maybe maybe it too obvious where he was going. Should have been the second goal. And uh, Man City's fourth. Gabby inside of Leighton Baines. Looks to curl it again. Oh. Made the same mistake again. Should have just powered it near post. Man City really starting to turn the, uh, turn the power up here a bit. Good ball. Lovely first touch as Gabby so often does. He's away from Baines. Couldn't quite finish it. Gabby battles with Baines. Lovely header into Aguero on as a substitute. Walcott, good ball. Looking for Gabby. Keane comes across. He's not going to be uh, taken advantage of this time. That's a beautiful ball into Gabby. Oh, and he gets there ahead of Pickford and gets his second. And once again, the celebrations are maybe slightly over there. Gabby, that's probably not a good idea. Oh, that's, that's brutal. I mean, he must be impervious to all coins and any other thrown things because he uh, celebrates wildly there right in front of the Everton fans. That's dangerous. I'm surprised no stewards or police had to step in there. I don't know quite where the love loss is. Um, I mean, we were dropped quite a lot by Big Sam. It wasn't... That was a great ball, though. And Gabby bravely finishes, taken out by Pickford. Uh, you've got to question the celebrations, but you can't question the finishing. Lovely ball in from Gundo, and we've always said he's the one we want to play with, and that was put on a plate. Still a fair amount to do, though, and a brave finish. And uh, this game done. Maybe enough time for a Gabby hat trick against his old side. Oh, and Balassi into Barkley right at the death. And Barkley picks up the ball. That's optimistic there from the midfielder. Don't think they're going to get into this one, but uh, Bravo will be unhappy not to have kept a clean sheet. And there we are. Back at Goodison. And finally we score. And finally we win against Everton after three. It took us three games. Two games without any goals. But Gabby definitely broke the curse there. And, uh, yeah, we're through. Through to, I think, the quarterfinals or the semi I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But anyway, great performance today. Really stepped it up. Everton with more possession, but we had more shots. And when we did have them, we were pretty clinical. Well, Gabby was anyway. Grabs the man of the match and a seven. Lovely stuff. Oh, well, that was the quarterfinals. So we are into the semis. And uh, who are we going to play? Well, we're going to find out. And who's it going to be? Well, it's not going to be Spurs. Oof. It's going to be Athletic Bilbao. What a matchup that is. And then we will play either one of Spurs or Besiktas in the finals. Oh, Bilbao's going to, be, that's going to be a tricky game. It's going to be a tricky game. And uh, another difficult game in a very, very packed schedule. Uh, so when will we play them? Well, we've got Sunderland next in the league, which has to be a three-pointer. And then United. And then it's two legs against Athletic Bilbao. Sandwiching uh, away at Arsenal, which isn't going to be easy either. And then we play Arsenal in the FA Cup final. Well, we sort of know how that should go, don't we? Oh, no, the U the League Cup. That should be a win. And then there's one, two, three, two games left to the end of the season. So not many games left for us to claw back the league. I feel like that loss against Everton could be the nail in the coffin. 
Um, we've got one episode, two episodes, three episodes, four episodes left. It's going to be an exciting end of the season. A lot of finals and a lot of important league games. None more so than United in the next episode. So join me for that. I'll see you in a bit.